Six. This week is the 25th anniversary of the death of Indiana native Ryan White. He died of complications of AIDS at the age of 18. And now 25 years after his death, the state is dealing with the largest HIV outbreak in its history. This puts renewed focus on the disease, and today is National Youth HIV and AIDS Awareness Day. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth has been looking into how young people understand AIDS and HIV. He joins us now at the live desk. Patrick, there are still a lot of misconceptions when it comes to this disease. That's right, Leanne. There's more, a lot more understanding and education about how it spread than there was 25 years ago, and a lot of that is because of Ryan White and his battle with HIV and AIDS. But a lot of young people still think this doesn't apply to them. An entire generation has never lived in a world without HIV and AIDS. They've been educated about the disease and how it spreads. And while that's had a lot of positive effects, ironically, it's also had some negative ones. Young people are, are exposed to the knowledge and some of the risks, but they do perceive it as a distant risk. It's still around. You know, it's, unfortunately, people have become blasé about HIV and AIDS. The fact that treatment is now available and that HIV is no longer seen as a sort of automatic death sentence is part of the blasé attitude. But even 30 years later, teens still have a lot of misconceptions about HIV and AIDS. The problem is that they just don't think that that happens to them. They don't think of it as an actual STD. Only 3% of HIV AIDS cases in Indiana are linked to drugs and needle sharing. The other 97% is transmitted sexually. But the recent HIV outbreak in southeastern Indiana has reinforced the idea that HIV and AIDS only affects drug users or some other community far away. But teens today, they don't think that HIV is here. They don't know that there's, you know, almost a thousand people between St. Joe and Elkhart County that live uh, with HIV. Basically, it is everybody's responsibility. So I wouldn't say anybody can say they're immune to this particular disease because viruses and bacteria know no bounds. HIV and AIDS is still sadly a problem and every month more than a thousand young people get the disease. The good news is there are a lot of things you can do to stay safe. The easiest is to practice safe sex and don't engage in those risky behaviors. Officials also say that people still need to get tested. At the live desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT 22.